Okay, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. A peace and salutation to the elect and those who's pushing this work doing the correct doctrine. Now, um, I wanted I wanted to get into um, a topic, and this topic is about prayer, praying, and um, we know we coming up on um, terrible and horrible times, a time like no other has ever been seen on earth, and so within that time, we're going to um, need faith to get through these times as well as prayer, but pray, praying and faith uh, go hand in hand because if you don't have no faith and believe in it, you ain't going to be praying and vice versa. If you ain't, if you don't pray, then the Lord ain't going to give you that faith that you're going to be praying for because you're going to have to pray for this faith that, you know, to get through these times. And, um, I like the scripture. I always like to bring out this scripture. What I'm going to bring out is 2 Timothy 3 and 1. And um, it reads, But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. So, yeah, the last the last days perilous means trouble, means hard. Perilous times will come. It's going to be terrible times um, coming up and we know what's coming because, you know, um, we know these are the last days. Um, Esau, um, man, he's just going around the world doing all types of things, killing and destroying and all types of uh, wicked acts and um, all types of judgment is going through the earth. Um, all these laws passing for the, uh, these uh, homosexuals and you know, I don't LGBT. I don't even know what to call them because you you call them something and you, they're lock want to lock you up for calling them what they are, and they they and it's queer. They're queers that they're they're going totally against the script the scriptures. But the scriptures, because this not going to be a long um, drawn out video, but I just wanted to go over a, a couple scriptures on prayer because. Brothers need to pray more, as well as myself. We need to pray more because um, we're going to need to pray to have a direct connection with the Son and the Heavenly Father. And these times, man, Esau is going to come down on us. And um, let me, this scripture that I'm about to bring out is, uh, let me Okay. I just had it. Um, okay. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter eleven. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. Alright. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. And it reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. Who's him? the Heavenly Father. For he who comes to Yahweh must believe that he is. Okay. Salaki. That him is talking about Yahweh Shah. I'm going to start from the beginning. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. For, for he who comes to Yahweh must believe that he is. So you have to believe you have to have faith. You have to believe that 
the Heavenly Father and the Son is, is with you and exists. Because that way you ain't going, you ain't going to bring forth uh, effort or sort of say um, action reading on and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So you have to put forth the effort to, to find him, to pray for him, to pray to pray to to him. So you have to at least do it to show for to show that you believe. You know? The cuz it's uh it's a thing where it's though you got to you got to show action. Faith after faith, after believing, is action. You know, and prayer is going to be one of the most important things. You know, Ephesians three and twelve. I'm not going to bring it up on the screen, but I'm going to just read it. I got it in um, the Bible right here. If, if Ephesians 3 and 12, and it reads, In whom we have boldness and confidence, access through faith in him. So faith, let me bring it back out. In whom we have boldness and confidence. See? Boldness and confidence. Faith, faith means believing. So if you believe that something is going to happen, you're going to... That's going to add boldness onto your acts. And you're going to have confidence. So you're going to be almost sure that these things are going to happen. That the Lord is going to take care of you when these times come. When Esau, you know, the guillotines, when Esau is uh, trying to persecute you, hey, he might deliver you out of that. Some of us are going to have to um, be um, martyrs. But then again, some of us are going to just... Go straight to the kingdom. So he might have a guillotine coming down on you, and the guillotine might break, and he might deliver you. You never know what is anything is possible dealing with the Most High and the Son. You know, but you have to believe. You have to believe first in order to receive these things, because the mind is a powerful thing. All right. Um, I had another scripture, but let's see. All right. Give me a moment. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring it up on the screen. I'm going to bring this scripture up on the screen because I had it sort of written down. But this phone is kind of taking a little long. Okay, I'm going to just read it because the phone is um, taking a while. Okay, Proverbs 3 and 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. So then again, um, after boldness and faith, that's when trust come in. And so we're going to have the truck. We're going to have um, trust plays a uh big part in that as well. Mark, hold on, let me, okay. Because I'm looking for this, the, all right. Because the Lord bring, the Lord said, I'm going to get the, the, the verse. I'm going to try to get the verse. 
because one of the verses that I was looking for, the Lord said, um, for nothing will be impossible with the, the Most High. But um, that's one of the Lord's quotes. All right, let me come back. Okay, Matthew. Matthew chapter 20, 21, verse 22. And it reads, And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive. If you have faith, you know, the, the good news, if you believe in the Lord, he will listen when you pray, you know. So there it is, you know, whatever you ask for in prayer, now it might not come at the, uh, the time you ask for it, but he's going to be, um, he's going to be on time, you know. He's going to be on time. The Lord will be on time. Now, it might not, like, then again, it might not come the time you want it to come, but it, it, it'll come. Because the Lord know the Lord knows everything. You know, every He knows every situation. He knows, you know. But that was just a couple scriptures on, you know, praying. Um, I could bring out, matter of fact. Okay. Okay, uh, Philippians 4 and 6. Let me bring that up. Because I'm going to bring it up on the screen. This is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And it reads, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to Yahweh. You know? So, don't be anxious. It's going to come. You have to believe. You have to believe in what you pray for. And you can't be, you shouldn't be anxious because the Lord is going to supply you what you need. Like I said, probably not in, in the time you want it to happen, but it's going to come because the Lord knows everything, you know. And and give thanksgiving, you know, when you when you get it, you know. Be thankful for what you get, you know. But you got to ask for it. You got to request it. Because if you don't ask for it, you may not receive it. You know? You may not get what you ask for. And be careful about what you ask for. Because you very well re may receive it. You know? But I hope this was edifying. You know? This was just a couple scriptures on prayer. Lord willing, I um, bring back another video on prayer. You know? Cause this was just, um, you know, thought about through the spirit. I came across the scriptures and I had to bring it out, you know, to the brotherhood, you know. But um, I hope this was edifying. Till again, shalom.